Hey there, this is Liz. I'm a registered dietitian at the UNC Wellness Center. I'm gonna make a uh, recipe of guacamole today. Uh, all right, so we have three Haas avocados. Easiest way to do your avocados is to cut it in half all the way around. There's a big seed in the middle. Slide it open and there you have your one half and then your half with your um, seed in the middle. Now you're not really supposed to do it this way because you have, there's one too many accidents have happened. But you slide your knife in there and you take out the pit. Now it's usually easiest to then use your paring knife and just score through the avocado, not all the way through the skin. Take your spoon and it comes right up. You scoop it up and scoop it all the way into your bowl. Same thing with the other side. Score the avocado, cut it into little chunks, and scoop. And it all falls in your bowl. Perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna juice our lime. These are the best invention known to man. It's a lime juicer. You can use it for lemons as well. You want your lime to be at room temperature because you can get more juice out that way. Stick one half in, this, in there and you give it a squirt. And you squeeze all the lime juice out. We're then gonna just kind of mix it around and make sure all of our avocado is coated with the lime juice. We're gonna save the other half for after the flavors start to meld together to see if we need any more lime juice. Next step is going to be your tomato. We're gonna to go ahead and chop a Roma tomato. We need to have two Roma tomatoes. When you're doing tomatoes, it's typically best to use a serrated knife because the other knives have a tendency to smush your tomatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and chop off one of the ends. The best thing to do to seed it is to kind of just wiggle your knife around there a little bit, all the way down to the bottom. And then give it a little squeeze. And all those seeds pop out. So now your, your tomato is seeded. Move those seeds off to the side. Now, in order to dice your tomato, you want to make slices of your tomato. Stack them. I usually stack them two at a time. Cut them in half in little cubes. Give them a turn. Cut them again. And you have all the little pieces for your tomatoes. Put this in our bowl. We have diced tomatoes there. Uh, take these, slice them in half, and half and half, and those halves in half. Take all the little pieces you want, slice them down. The little end pieces, you can slice those guys down. little piece here. All right, now you have your diced tomatoes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to slice, dice our onion. Um, it says to use about half an onion. I'm going to use a little bit less. I don't like quite as much onion. Easiest thing to do is to take your slice or your slices of onion and cut them in half and then stack them. And then you can go through and just, your little cycle looks like a little rainbow, and you just turn it. And you slice, 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 slice. Dice, 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 dice. And you have your diced onions. Last thing we're going to do is our jalapeno. Now, if you don't like a lot of spice, you don't want to use the seeds of the jalapeno. If you want a little bit of heat, add a little bit of the seeds. So the recipe calls for a half of a um, jalapeno. Now, I don't like a lot of heat in my jalapeno, so I'm going to try to go ahead and take the seeds and as much of the membrane out as I can. And it basically looks like 
a long green pepper. Now you can take it and you can slice it to where they're long strips. And then you turn it sideways and you dice. And you can have all your little pieces. You can make them smaller if you don't want to bite into a big chunk of jalapeno. potato masher, we're going to mash the avocado. You don't want to use a blenderizer or a, a food processor because then you're just going to pulverize it. So we're just going to take a potato masher. I like a little bit of texture in mine, so I want mine to be a little more on a chunky side. So you go ahead and take your potato masher and just mash away. So you get mostly all the big chunks down to where it's a little bit more, it has some, some rough texture to it. To that, we go ahead and add some um, cumin, some salt, and some cayenne. We're going to have our onion, which is our half of a diced onion. Cilantro, chopped cilantro. That usually makes the avocado, the guacamole. And then our diced tomatoes. Add all those guys together. In a second, we're gonna go ahead and add our jalapeno. Now we take our jalapeno, throw that guy in there. Last thing we need is our garlic. Second best invention known to man is your garlic press. Garlic is already peeled, you just smoosh, and there's your garlic. You can go ahead and throw that right on in. Again, give it a couple more spins around, and you'll see all the beautiful colors. You got your red tomatoes, you got your white onions, you got your dark green jalapenos in there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and leave this at room temperature for an hour. Let the flavors kind of do their thing. If you feel like it needs a little bit more lime juice, we have another half lime. We can go ahead and finish it off. That's how you make guacamole. Super easy. Uh, thanks to Alton Brown. He made it a really great recipe, which I've included for you. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.